we've started our search up here on the railings here and then on the rusty rail down here but just expanding down to the end I saw yeah oh, I bet you it's underneath I had to climb under but I think it's in the end of this spot here I see something Yep, it's got to be it. It's pretty narrow. Got it. Got a pen? I do. Well, that was a good one. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, we were looking up top. Saw an airplane go by. And I thought, no, I bet you. As I walked down to the end, I said, I bet you it's under the bridge. And then we saw the gabion cages, and I thought, oh no, don't tell me it's in the rocks. <laughs> and I saw that. So I just, just disappear into nothing. Give that a favorite point. That's all I have to say about that. That's the right on, man. Forrest Gump! It wasn't just because of the geocache that we stopped, we saw this cute tea kettle on the side of the building. So we had to stop and there's likely to be a view. Once again, as in our last episode, we learned the basics of making tea. This was the location of the second of only two tea plantations in all of Europe. After the presentation, we headed over for a tasting, and for Karen, life is all about a good cup of tea. Beauty is everywhere you look on Sao Miguel Island. It's around every curve, beyond every hill, and at each turn. We're stopping here for an earth cache. This is one about a kiln, and we get to go inside. Come along with us. 
Calcium oxide, known as lime, is one of the most important substances for industry and is obtained by thermal decomposition of limestone. This is done in an oven called a kiln. Questions for this earth cache included how lime was created to specific questions about the kiln itself at GZ. Lime is used for mortar, used in construction, as well as in paint, ceramics, pharmaceuticals, and even deodorant. Behind 1982. So it should be behind that structure. Got it. There you go. Spider web. It's peeing. Nicely done. Another geocache for Portugal and the islands of the Azores in this beautiful, beautiful place. And we're really glad that you are coming along with us. If you want an amazing place to come and look and see sights, it's so beautiful. It's just the, the pictures you see just don't do it justice. Once again, we're stopping for a pint and a snack. And this vacation is going to break the bank for the french fries and the two beers in euros. Yeah. It was 350. Yeah, three euros 50. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. Two beers and a big plate of fries. Oh, it's so nice to have the water closet nearby. Yeah, it was. I, I sure could use it. And uh, I found the cash. No way. Yeah, it's right over there. Oh, cool. There were cats everywhere at this geocache location, but what wasn't there was a geocache. <laughs> No luck, eh? A lot of times there's no DNFs on the caches. Everybody's found them. But when we show up, it's like there's nowhere in sight. And part of the thing that's frustrating is the last note is a DNF. The one before that is a find and then two DNFs. And if you look at it on the logs, it's two DNFs and then a copy and paste log from a multiple cache find day, which leads us to suspect the find it log that's inserted in there, they never actually found it. And we're looking for a one and a half, one and a half, so it shouldn't be too tricky to find. Well, that one might have been a DNF, but at least right up here on the lookout, there's a virtual geocache. ended the day with a DNF. Yeah, it was frustrating with so many DNFs today, yeah. but we saw some spectacular views and yeah. we appreciated that. And there were a few that we found and we really rejoiced when we found them. Yes, yeah, the, the uh, virtuals really helped. Oh, yes, th and There's the nothing caches. that could be missing. Yeah, and the earth caches, yes. <laughs> it was just amazing again to be geocaching here in the Azores. Mm. Uh, we have to put it on our to-do list to come back. And, but there's still more to come. So, you know, keep coming back. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Yep, where will geocaching take, take you? you?